What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams And in today's video we're gonna learn how to undo or redo or go back to an earlier version of your page or post or post type using Elementor Website Builder WordPress plugin, okay? So let's imagine the following scenario that I'm gonna do an as example further in this video you are working on a page that is really important for your site and mistakenly, so by any issue you may you may have made, you deleted some part of the page, you did change it some part of the page that was important and you do not want to redo this from the ground. You can go back to another version of your page. But before anything, remember that we are Visual Moto and we did made a previous guide on our YouTube channel explaining how to do this process using the Gutenberg editor for your blog posts or pages made on the blocks editor using Gutenberg, okay? The default WordPress editor. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I'll explain how to do this, okay? And before we can start, please subscribe to this channel because we bring videos for WordPress tutorials, marketing, SEO, sales, by every week. So it helps us a lot when you click on the subscribe button and like this video. But let's go to the point. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard, okay? And once on dashboard, we have two ways to access our Elementor page builder. One is going to pages, finding out the page. In my case, it's gonna be the home page, okay? The front page of our site. And we can click on edit with Elementor. However, there is another way, okay? We can go to the site front end, so the home page of the site, and click right here into the top where it's called edit with Elementor. Both ways gonna lead you to the Elementor page editor, okay? Once on it, how to undo the chains. But before, let's proceed with some chains. By mistake, I'm gonna, in this case intentionally, but by mistake, I'm gonna delete some parts of this page, okay? Let me delete this map. How to undo the chains? We can type Ctrl Z. It did work. However, if you already made a lot of changes on your page, the Ctrl Z, that is the shortcut on the keyboard to undo the changes, will not work at all. So what to do? Have view next to the update button, this green button at the corner bottom left side of your page, we have the this gear icon, this navigation, and right here we have the history next to the responsive mode, okay? Right here, history. Click on it, and here we can see the actions and the revisions. Let's separate the things. Actions are the thing that I just did made before updating the pages, okay? The actions is the things that we did made while editing this page right now. If I can, if I go back right here, for example, I gonna undone the deletion process of this person picture and the deletion process of the deletion process of this info box element okay so i can undo and redo but let's imagine that when we undone something when we done something and we did update the page how to go back to an earlier version because we went out of the page and this section gonna be cleared up. This section will not appear any longer. There will be no actions while we did in the page tomorrow, for example. And then we're gonna move to the revisions. Once on revisions, we can see a list of the additions made on this page across all the time, okay? The Elementor storage it for you on your server. 
you can limit how much of those revisions the Elementor storage, but we do recommend that you leave something like five or six. In the case that you want to learn how to limit that, just leave a comment in the section below on this YouTube video, because I'm gonna be happy in search and do a video explaining how to do this. But just keep in mind that Elementor saves, auto saves versions of your page. So let's imagine that I would like to go back from an earlier revision of my page from 43 minutes ago. I'm gonna click on it. This is gonna take a while to load because you're gonna access your server so we can load the previous version of the page. But as you can review, we are back to an earlier version of our page. Simple, fast and easily. This is how easy it is. And once you approve this edition, you can apply. Always remember to only click on apply when you are okay with the version that you did load it, okay? The previous version that you did load it. If you do not like this version, you can click on this card, okay? Into this button right here. And this is gonna unload this previous version so you can load another one, okay? This is up to your choice. As soon as you find a version that you did enjoy, and when the page was when you like it, you can click into the apply button. This is gonna reload the page for a while, and then you need to click on update. And as you can review, the star icon is now on the actual version of this page that is our new latest version of the page. This is how easy it is. So. No need to worry while editing your page. You always can edit your page without problems because you can go back. In the case that your site is not displaying these sections with autosaves, it means that your server may have some limitations on wordpress.config file, but we can explore this further in another video, okay? So it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe this channel, and if you find this content useful for you by any meaning, please share with a friend of yours because it may help more people, okay? We are also on social media, we are at Visual Moro in any social media you like, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. and. I'm gonna leave into the first comment of this video some useful links, for example a link to a place where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents, or a place where you can download designed assets for free and they update the designed assets downloadable for free every week. In addition, a last recommendation, it's in the case that you want to empower your Elementor WordPress page builder, I recommend that you download the free Enzo WordPress theme by Visual Moto on WordPress.org and the free WordPress plugin by Visual Moto call it Borderless, okay? They, those plugins and theme gonna help you a lot on your design process. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you later. All the best!